Hello beautiful souls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, happy Taurus new moon. So this is a really, really beautiful new moon because Taurus is all about abundance and sensuality and stability and Jupiter just entered Taurus as well earlier this week. So I'm going to be diving into the energetics here because new moons are all about new beginnings. So it's a really beautiful time to manifest and then Join it with the abundant energy of Taurus season. Well, what a beautiful, powerful, potent time to manifest. So again, I am not your resident astrologer. However, I do tune in with the energetics and what wants to come through and be shared is what comes through and gets to be shared through me. So <laughs> let's dive in because... I also have a North Node in Taurus. My North Node is in Taurus, my South Node is in Scorpio, and the North Node happens to be in Taurus right now as well, so I have been really tuning in and getting clear for myself on what this all means and how to harness it. <laughs> so it is really, really an incredible time to tune in with yourself. New moons are dark moons, right? So in that darkness, we go within, we tune in and get really clear. And the thing with abundance is it really is an inside job. That is what it's about, is remembering that it's actually about going within. It isn't about the external stuff, the material world around us. Although, the truth is as within so without so when we can get our inner world right and focus on the inner world inner wealth the inner 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 world <laughs> the inner wealth inner inner world that is a bit of a tongue twister and anyway that's what wanted to come through right as within so without the inner the outer is a reflection of the inner so when we can get right with our inner world, with our self-worth, with our worthiness, the abundance then begins to flow. When we can cultivate that inner trust and peace and create that foundation within ourselves, then the external begins to reflect that because we are then open to receive, we are trusting in our own ability to create that foundation for ourselves. And that's what this time is about, is really creating that stable, foundation so that we can thrive and that really begins with a place of inner peace and inner trust so a lot of us have been going through it with all the eclipse energies and mercury is finally out of retrograde as of earlier this week as well so mercury left retrograde Ju jupiter entered taurus and then the next day jupiter squared pluto i believe is what you you call it and Pluto is the underworld. Pluto is very much about the shadows. So we have this kind of, it's almost like an opposition, but in a way it's actually really beautifully aligned to help us get clear on what is not aligned for us any longer. What is blocking us? The seeds of corruption, if you will. And this, this is very much at the collective level to be sure, but we can also look at it within and say, okay, what is still here within that is blocking my ability to live the life that I desire? Excuse me, I have a little itch on my nose. <laughs> I also, interestingly, I had a sore throat for a couple days this week. I had every intention of going live, or not necessarily going live, but recording every day this week and sore throat it was like okay no time to go in and really just be with yourself in your body and that's what taurus is about is really getting grounded in yourself getting in total alignment and getting really clear and grounded in your purpose and when you are in alignment everything then begins to flow and when I talk about purpose this is about higher purpose so that deeper purpose and your higher truth that is the light that guides the actions so sometimes when we don't feel abundant it, it it's hard to take those aligned actions 
but what if we were acting as if, as if it was already done? And that is part of the manifestation that I will share later um, about how to really harness this energy. But if we're, and this isn't so much about faking it till you make it, because personally, I believe that paradigm is over. This is really about getting into the body, into the energy, the embodiment of the version of self that we desire to be. But in order to do that, we have to clear out all of the old shadow programs that would block us from being that version. So tuning in with yourself means really going deep and getting clear on all of the aspects of self that are are the shadow aspects of self that are not aligned with that higher version so where are we still playing small where are we still dimming our light and it's interesting because this card excuse me i have this itch again um this card was at the bottom of the deck multiple times this week and I thought of it, I was like, you know what? This card wants to be shared. So I pulled out the deck to get this card specifically and guess where it was? It was at the bottom of the deck again. I, I even left the whole deck here. So <laughs> Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So our purpose is not, you know, we all have our own unique purpose here, right? But we also have our own unique lights to shine. Our purpose is, is not going to manifest. Our abundance will not manifest if we are not living in total alignment with our deeper heart and soul purpose. We, we might get glimpses of it. We might get part of the way there, but our true soul manifestations and true divine abundance will not flow until we are actually in alignment with our higher truth and taking those actions even if we feel a little scared it does take courage a hundred percent absolutely but what is it that is holding us back and keeping us small what are those shadow programs that are telling us that we're not good enough that we're not ready yet that we are not allowed to do X, Y, Z. Where are we dimming our light in order to fit in? Where are we still operating in the shoulds and what society and our parents and our programming has told us we should do? You know, are we doing it too much by the book? That was something that came through in a reading that I had done for me. <laughs> So it's, it's sometimes we just have to throw it all to the side and not to deny all of the learning and the wisdom that we gained from our journey up until now, but you know, where are we putting ourselves second perhaps, or where are we doing, doing, doing rather than just allowing ourselves to be? There are many layers to this. So Taurus is about really getting clear, gra grounded and stable in our foundation and yes that has to do with finances and finances directly relate to self-worth and to the greater energetics of abundance abundance isn't just about finances it's about all the things in life and it's really about feeling worthy to receive so if we don't feel worthy to receive to have to experience the love the joy the magic the beauty the awe the freedom whatever it is all of the above the peace we will also be blocking our abundance and you know how do we define wealth how do we define abundance this is not a tangible number in our bank account this is a state of being and that's exactly it it's not a state of doing it's a state of being and that's the energy of receptivity that we have to lean into so again my taurus north node scorpio south node like this this has been my journey overcoming the struggle and the scarcity to reside in the energy of trust in the energy of flow and Taurus is very much about the material but it is about the flow and the trust it's not about having a Ferrari necessarily if that's what you want 
nobody's saying you can't have it, but at the end of the day, are we too overly attached to the external material world and what we think it's supposed to look like in order to feel good enough and worthy enough? Or are we okay and at peace with our life and the flow, being in the flow of where we are are we shining our light and trusting that all we desire and require is coming to us because the universe always supports and provides? So now with, again, the Pluto energy, sometimes we have to get cleared out of all the old stuff that is in the way. And so sometimes it might look like everything is falling apart, but that's the breakdown before the breakthrough. So sometimes in order to create that stable foundation, we have to knock down what has been built because it was not built on a solid foundation and that's very much I feel collectively what is happening as well <laughs> so what we're being asked to do is to really go within and create those stable foundations within energetically and I just saw one 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 and <laughs> and that's the collective lesson but individually it has to start with us right so the more of us that actually step into this energy of true abundance that is in alignment with us creating through our hearts that's how we step into our purpose is we serve in a heart-centered way and the abundance will flow in turn so our creative expression is the manifestation of our heart and our soul that is our purpose at its higher level so when we are creating and serving from that energy the abundance will then flow and again, it might be a recalibration, a redefinition of what abundance looks and feels like to you. It is more that energy. So that's what I invite you to step into is how do you want to feel? What does abundance feel like to you? How will it look? Maybe, but really what's the underlying feeling that you want to be experiencing? So maybe you have this grand vision of abundance for yourself, what your abundant life would look like. And nobody's stopping you from having that, but really what you want to focus on is the feeling that you will have and then act as if by cultivating that feeling now, having that feeling, embodying that feeling now, acting with that feeling, acting as if it's already done, as if the universe is already taking care of it. And that's when the gates will open, this portal to abundance will open. We've gone through the 5-5 five, five eclipse portal threshold. This is our freedom and this is our ability to create now that foundation. Create the blueprint for a new earth where we are all operating from this state of abundance with that foundation solidly in place. So... It's deep and it's beautiful at the same time. Pluto brings us deep. Jupiter helps us expand. It helps us to create that stable foundation with that expansive, abundant energy. So a lot of, you know, I saw a headline that was <laughs> really funny. I'm blanking out on it now. Uh, something about orgasms. <laughs> So I was like, okay, but yeah, pleasure. This is very much part of the energetic, but it's good fortune, it's luck as well. So we wanna harness that energy while recognizing that we're also being called to clear out everything that is not aligned with heaven on earth energy. Love, abundance for all, harmony, peace, joy. Joy is such a beautiful, high vibrational expression of being. And I honestly feel like the energetics of that are even higher than love. And actually that aligns with my eight golden keys to abundance course, which I just thought of now. Uh, so that is available. I also have some offers I'll share at the end <laughs> that, that just came to me and it, it's really meant to be accessible for everyone. That was the vibe because I know a lot of people are going through this worthiness issue, this self-worth uh, that is blocking the abundance. So I'll share a little bit about that first, but how can we harness this energy of the new moon? Breathwork, 
get out in nature, connect with nature. Taurus is very much about the material. So it is very much about being grounded in nature. So get out in nature if possible, ground yourself, connect. And nature itself is inherently abundant. It's all connected, right? So really stay grounded, be grounded within your body. That is the energy. Breath work to clear out and to come in. So we get clarity once we clear out the vessel. We receive clarity and that's that's exactly the energy is receiving all that we desire once we're cleared out. So breath work is a really powerful practice to help us clear out that old energy. It can get really deep. Connecting with nature and then manifesting. So write down your manifestations. You can use your crystals, Citrine eye is one of my favorites. It's one that I've always been drawn to. It's very much about prosperity and abundance and all of that magic. So this is a good one. Anything green I feel, anything that connects you to your intuition and creativity and helps you go within because intuition comes from within. So Taurus is very much calling us to go in so we can tune in and receive that clarity. So manifestations, write it out, tangible material, way to get it grounded down so we can have the thoughts, speak it out as well, but writing it down brings it into the tangible. That's why journaling can be so powerful. So write down what you want to manifest. And I just heard this practice, well, it's, it's a particular iteration of a practice of as if it's already done. I love that. Starting your manifestations with, I love that I have this, or that this is done, or that this is the experience I'm having. I love that. As soon as I read that out loud, it brings me into this elevated state. It, it works. It works so well. So write out a bunch and, and you know, whatever feels aligned for you. If there's a particular number that feels resonant, maybe write that number of manifestations, but don't limit yourself either because that's the opposite of the energetics that we're, we're stepping into. We are releasing the limitation and stepping into expansion and abundance. So allow all that wants to come through to come through. So dance also, that embodiment aspect, move your body, anything that feels good, but connect with music. The idea of music has been coming through a lot too. So put on songs that lift you up and help you feel abundant and powerful, like the majestic being that you are, <laughs> and act as if dance as if you are that version of self that you want to be and become it now, become it now. So let me just, I wrote down some notes and I, I rarely look at my notes. So I just want to be sure I, oh, so the Jupiter square Pluto is about greed, corruption, and immorality. So these shadow aspects that are coming up to be eliminated. So yeah, again, corporate greed, we're going to see this on the, the, uh, collective level. So this is why it's so important to get so grounded within yourself so that we're not, I wanted to say shaken and rattled at the same time, rattled or shaken <laughs> by the external world. We want that inner foundation, strong, resilient. So that's why this inner work is so important because if you're here now watching this, you're probably of a particular vibration, ready to shine your light. And we need more leaders stepping into their light and serving from that space of love. So that's what this is about because humanity is having a bit of a rough time right now. <laughs> so the more of us that are really grounded and stable in our light and our love and our service and our higher purpose, the more humanity will elevate in consciousness and heal. That's why it's so important. So, I will link everything below, but I also do have a free infinite possibilities visualization that is very much aligned with stepping through this portal of possibility, expansion, and abundance. So I will link that below, it's free. And I have a, I am creating a 
you are worthy, worthiness immersion that came through really strong for me. This energy, it, again, my name means, I, I don't know if I said this already, I said it somewhere else, but my name means worthy of love. And my north node being Taurus and my south node being Scorpio, this has been my journey. This is the core of my journey. So of course, it is aligned for me to share more deeply on this notion. And it's something that I've been seeing come up for a lot of people in the collective. So it feels very timely and resonant. And that is going to be a pay what you can scale. So starting at a dollar. <laughs> but there's an energetic of investing in yourself and the energetic exchange. And the intention is that whatever you invest, it will be returned to you times 10 or more. <laughs> and then I also have an abundance activator that I it just all came through and I was like, oh yeah, this needs to be created. So the the exact structure of that I haven't completely grounded down yet but there are modules that I will be creating so that's going to be more of a uh, a course that you receive and then the worthiness would be included with that if you do decide to jump in to that and it's currently at a very accessible price as well and then I do have my eight golden keys to abundance course which is a chakra healing and activation so when we tune in about going within and clearing out a lot of us have blocks in our energy centers that are coming up to be cleared so this is both a clearing and an activation of the higher frequencies and remember i said love was higher than joy was higher than love in the frequency i saw that on the scale yesterday well that is what came through and this was downloaded in the uh, king's chamber of the great pyramid in P egypt when i was there on a pilgrimage so now, I, I mean, it made sense, but it makes even more sense now that I'm thinking about it all. It's all connected, right? So anyway, you know, trust what comes through, trust the niggle. And I will also just share this as a little reminder, don't dim to fit in. So take a deep breath. Allow your body to be filled with the light of the golden divine. And know that you are worthy to receive all that is here for you. Onward and upward in love and light. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for being here and shine your light so bright because that's what the world needs right now.